When this man, Mehmet, died, his loyal dog was devastated and he attended his owner's funeral. But what he did afterward got millions of people talking and don't be surprised if you shed tears after learning what this dog did because his action is both heartbreaking and beautiful. They say a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than it loves itself. So when Mehmet retired from work, he knew there couldn't be a better companion for him than a dog. You see, a few years before his retirement, Mehmet's wife passed away and he had no zeal for life. He and his wife were childhood sweethearts and they did everything together, so life without her was miserable. Sometimes he secretly wished for an end to his life. But time, they say, heals all wounds. So with time, Mehmet began to adjust to living without his wife. But of course, someone, or rather, a sweet dog, also made it easier for him. This dog's name is Caesar, and he came into Mehmet's life a few years after his wife had passed away and after he retired from work. Mehmet's son, Ali, wanted to do something unique for his dad after his retirement. So, he asked the elderly man to name whatever he wanted. What about a vacation? But Mehmet requested a dog. He had never owned one his whole life, so he wanted to experience true friendship with an animal. Three days after he made this request, Ali came home with Caesar. The dog had a very sad story. His owners were a young couple who realized they didn't want to be together just two years after they got married. So, one day, they decided to call it quits. The husband left the house first, and when the rent was due, the wife left too. They both took everything they felt was special to them, but they left something behind. Caesar. That day, the young woman left the dog at the door, and she walked away without looking back. A neighbor eventually took the dog to a shelter, where Ali found him looking sad and desperate for love and attention. I immediately knew Caesar was the perfect dog for my dad. They had both suffered a huge loss and were at a point where they wanted someone to be there for them and love them, Ali said. And guess what? He was right. As soon as the duo set their eyes on each other, it was love at first sight. When Mehmet carried Caesar in his arms, the canine began licking his face. I think we will be best of friends, sweet Caesar, Mehmet said, and Caesar wagged his little curly tail. Ever since then, the two did everything together. Every evening, they would take a stroll around the neighborhood. At night, Caesar would lie behind Mehmet on the bed, and the old man would tell him about his wife and all the beautiful memories they created together. The most adorable part was the way Caesar often listened to Mehmet with rapt attention, as if he understood everything his owner was telling him. Soon enough, the two became so close that Mehmet couldn't imagine his life without his loyal and friendly dog. But a year later, something devastating happened. Mehmet's health started to deteriorate. Mehmet began to worry about the fate of his dog if he were to pass away. How would the dog survive without him? Caesar could tell that his owner was no longer as energetic as he used to be, and he tried his best to be there for him. Then one morning, Mehmet suffered a stroke. Luckily for him, the doctors were able to save his life, but the incident left him paralyzed. During this period, Caesar never left the old man's side. He would even go with him to the hospital for his checkups. At first, the doctors didn't let him into the ward, so Caesar would stay in the waiting area. But when the doctors noticed he was well behaved, they let him come into the hospital room, and Caesar would sit close to Mehmet without taking his eyes off him. As time passed, Mehmet's health began to improve, and he was happy that he would get to spend more time with Caesar, his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Unfortunately, his dream was cut short. Six months later, Mehmet suffered another stroke in the middle of the night, and this time it was quite severe. The old man was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. The next day, Ali brought Caesar to see Mehmet, who was in an unconscious state. Poor Caesar could tell that something was wrong with Mehmet. He looked so sad. It was heartbreaking, Ali said. When Caesar got home that day, he refused to eat. He just sat in front of the door as if he was waiting for his beloved owner. Caesar also refused to go into Mehmet's room where he often slept. Instead, he slept at the doorstep. Sadly, Mehmet passed away a few days later. 
and the two friends didn't even get the chance to say goodbye to each other. In the days that followed, Cesar became restless. He would stare at the door, run to Mehmet's room, jump on the bed, and then go back to the door again to resume his staring. He was obviously waiting for Mehmet to return home. Ali even caught him staring at Mehmet's photos on the wall. If only this dog could talk, he would have asked to be taken to his human friend right away. Well, this loyal dog would soon demonstrate his undying love for Mehmet during and after his burial. Before the burial, Mehmet was brought home in a coffin for the funeral rites. When the coffin was opened, Cesar looked in it and it seemed as though he could tell that his owner wasn't coming back. Throughout the funeral rites, Cesar stood still underneath Mehmet's coffin. He stood still with so much sadness written in his eyes. It was such a beautiful but sad display of loyalty, Ali said. After the burial rites, the dog also took part in the procession to the cemetery. When they got there, Cesar watched as the pallbearers lowered the coffin into the grave. After the man was buried, everyone began to take their leave until Cesar and Ali were the only ones left. When the sun began to set, Ali walked over to the dog and said, it's okay, it's time to go home. Then he picked the dog up, put him in the car and drove home. When they got home, Cesar was quiet. He just sat in the corner. Two days later, when Ali got home, he was so surprised when he didn't find Cesar in the house. He was worried sick because Cesar was an obedient dog who never went out on his own. A few hours later, the dog eventually returned home covered in dirt. Then he went to a corner and slept off. This went on for some days and Ali became increasingly worried and concerned. Where exactly was the dog going, Ali wondered. But there was only one way to find out. He would need to follow the dog. The next day, when Cesar walked out of the house, Ali followed him, but he had no idea how far they would be going. Cesar, oblivious to the fact that he was being followed, kept running. He couldn't wait to get to wherever he needed to be. Soon enough, Ali realized what was happening, and he wasn't all that surprised when they eventually came to the grave of his father. The cemetery workers told me that Cesar comes here every morning and that he stares at the grave for hours, Ali said. The dog was finding it hard to cope with the loss of his owner and perhaps coming to the grave helped him feel better. Fortunately, Ali and the other members of the family gave Cesar much love and attention. Hopefully, with time, Cesar would become the happy, playful and friendly dog he once was. Cesar's loyalty and love for his owner got many people talking and they took to social media to express their feelings. Dogs are very loyal to their owners they will never forget you once you give them love and care. I wish Cesar the best in life, someone wrote. Another person wrote, all dogs are loving and they recognize their dead owner's grave. Their loyalty is beyond life. Even death cannot separate a dog and its owner. My dog used to visit my grandmother's grave and sit there for hours. A dog's love is like an everlasting fountain. And one user also said, there is a reason for the old saying that dogs are a man's best friend. They are loyal and would follow you to the end of the earth no matter what, even if they had to starve to death right alongside you. What do you think of Caesar's actions? Share your thoughts in the comment section. See you next time.